Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is a simple and delicious three bean soup. It's plant-based, vegan, oil-free, and gluten-free. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And thanks for doing that. This is one of my favorite soup recipes. Again, it's really easy to make. It's really tasty. It's a great way to get in your beans for the day which are really healthy, and I highly recommend trying this one out. So I'm going to have the ingredients and the directions in the description box below. Tell me what you think in the comments section, and here's the recipe. So here are the ingredients you're going to need for the three bean soup. You're going to want to get three cans of beans, and what kind you use just depends on what you like. I just happen to have on hand garbanzo beans, pinto beans, and cannellini beans, so that's what I used. You're going to want to have 15 ounces of chopped or crushed tomatoes, two carrots, and you want to chop those up, a half an onion, which you want to also chop up, and then there's going to be a topping you're going to put on after the soup is done, and that's going to be one clove of garlic chopped up, three tablespoons of pine nuts chopped up, and some parsley chopped up. And then you're going to use salt and pepper to taste, depending on if you want to, how much of that you want to add. So those are the ingredients you're going to need to get it going. Now the first thing you're going to do is get some water in a big pan and you're going to add the onion and the carrot and you're going to stir that up and let that cook on high, medium to high heat for five to ten minutes so they're nice and tender. Next you'll be adding in two cups of water as well as the 15 ounces of the chopped or crushed tomato sauce. And you're going to stir that up and bring to a boil. Once it's boiling, you're then going to add in all the beans and then stir that in as well and let that cook for a good 5 to 10, to ten minutes. Finally, you want to serve up a bowl of chili when that's cooked and then you can add on the toppings. So put a little bit of garlic on there, a little bit more, put some pine chopped pine nuts on there, and some parsley. And then of course you can add the salt and pepper just depending on how much of the salt and pepper you want. And then that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and give a thumbs up if you like the video. Try out the recipe and let me know what you think of it. And have a good day everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.